Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode. What are we up to today? We have some deep, deep rims in here. Straight off a pull truck, ready to be coated up to make it look good. So stick around, show you what we do with them. Thanks for sticking around. As you can see behind me, it's nice early in the morning. Nice day. It's supposed to be sunny. It's supposed to be warm. And uh, we're going to be doing some rims. Local guy here in town. He's got himself a pole truck. And uh, we're going to be doing up his rims. Get a pad of coat him nice gloss black. Add a little green in there. Make him look real good real unique and uh, ready for him to go on his next truck pull so I'm gonna get sandblasting on these get them cleaned up stick around and uh, follow along all right so here we are we're back we just finished sandblasting up on these rims as you can see got the back all nicely done stepped right down these are originally they were 16 and a half by 9.75 they've kind of expanded them a little bit make them wider probably gonna fit like a 14 or 15 inch wide tire but uh, yeah so it's gonna be quite a quite a size tire here's the other one I got it all set and ready to go I'm going to uh, heat them up here, out gas them some. I don't know what's in that aluminum welding. It might be dry, might have some oils, might have some air pockets. So just for a better finish, I'm gonna out gas them for a little bit and uh, then we're gonna get some color down on it. And like I said, we're gonna throw some green, throw some black and come up with something uh, that's gonna look real good on his pull truck. So I'm gonna go fire up the oven You'd stick around, hit that subscribe button, and uh, I'll show you the next step as we go. Alright, thanks for sticking around. Hope you hit that subscribe button. We have these rims all set, ready to go. I've outgassed them. They've been up at 400 degrees for 45 50 minutes. Now they've cooled down. I've blown them off to make sure there's no more dirt and debris on them. So now, we're going to get ready to spray the first of our colors. Like I said a little while ago, we're doing black and we're doing green. Well, we're going to start with the green. We're spraying a Kawasaki, Kawasaki green on this. So, rather than listening to me talk all the time, gun's ready. Now, I don't need much because we're not doing the whole rim in green. But, I do need some. flashlight on my Nordson gun here lighting things up as I spray there's a great addition to put on there only problem is you got to remember to keep changing uh, change your batteries but uh, so yeah I'm gonna get these going let that powder do some flowing out and then we're gonna get started on the black and show you what we have in store for that so while I do that you wait there hit that subscribe button and uh, show you what we do all right so as you just saw we sprayed the green we've done a 
partial cure on the grain itself. It's not fully cured, it's only a, just over half a cure. That way, when I go to spray the, the black on here, you'll still get your, uh, your cross link of what's not gonna be showing green. The black will mix with it, cross link, give good adhesion to both. So I'm gonna start spraying, and then we're gonna start doing some wiping down and show you the end result of what these rims are gonna look like. So here we go. Stick around, be right back. All right, so you just saw me spraying the black. Now, you did also see me cover over the green that I just sprayed. So, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do some finger wiping and start showing off the green that we want. And doing this, there's no need to be in a hurry. You want to make sure to get your lines as straight as possible. This isn't so bad because there's a nice edge on the on the lip here, but still gonna take your time. Make sure to get it wiped down right the first time. and go from there. And I know some of you are probably kind of questioning, wondering why I sprayed everything, even the lip when I was gonna be wiping it off. I wanted to make sure I had full coverage everywhere and this way I can remove just what I need to. And that's going to give us an idea of what these rims are going to look like when I'm done. I've got a little bit more clean up to do on this one because it's the rims weren't perfect. There was a lot of nicks and dings in them from countless times being used on a pull truck. And who knows what else these rims have been used on before this guy got them. So I'm going to continue on wiping these down. And uh, you go hit that subscribe button. And I'll show you when we're done. So now, all that's left, you can see a nice sharp edge to it. Rims are going to look awful nice when they're done. And with that, I'm going to turn the oven on, get some heat going, see if we can't make these look really good, get them finished, and uh, get them back to the customer. So stick around, show you the final results. Thanks for sticking around, everyone. Now that we were done, just finished up those rims for this pull truck. Hope you hit that subscribe button. So, suppose now you want to see them. I guess I can let you. There we are. 
you can see they got nice the nice high gloss black in there you can see the weld marks but the welding was already there so and then you can see I've got nice lip on there same as that one I already sent a picture to the customer he likes them a lot so I'm gonna take these outside put them on get them outside in the sun uh, finish this video off and let me know what you think done let me know what you think of them let me know what you think of the color if you know the truck it's uh the dill pickle and uh, if you see it let me know what you think of them drop a comment drop a like go hit that subscribe button let me know if you'd like to see anything more like that or if you'd if there's anything more you'd rather see me do or not do uh, i know you'd rather not hear me talk and just see the finished product but that's part of this I guess so go hit that subscribe button stick around for the next video I have coming I got some that I'm gonna be uh, installing some lights on my 23 Jeep Gladiator and I've got some uh, lawn furniture that I'm gonna be powder coating with a two-tone finish as well so if you hit that subscribe button you'll be one of the first to know that the new videos dropped and you can watch it and uh, let me think of that as well. So till next time, keep it loud and stay warm.